In this video, we are going to practice how to find the range of a given function. The range of a function is the possible set of all values of the dependent variable when values of the independent variable are substituted into the function. Or in other ways, the range is the set of all output values of a function. So for instance, let's say we have a function y is equal to x squared with x being 1, 2, and then 3. Then y is going to be 1, 4, and 9. Because 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, and then 3 squared is 9. In this case, y is called the output of the function, the range, or the dependent variable, because it depends on the values of x and x is called the input to the function or the independent variable. So now, how do we find the range of a function? Say, f of x is equal to 1 minus 2x. To find the range of a function, we need to represent f of x with y. So f of x, which is equal to 1 minus 2x, is going to be y is equal to 1 minus 2x. Next is to make x the subject. So we need to transpose negative 2 to the left hand side and then y to the right hand side. So it's going to be 2x is equal to 1 minus y. And then we divide both sides of the equation by 2. And then we have x to be equal to 1 minus y over 2. Now, 1 minus y over 2 is equal to 1 over 2 minus y over 2. We can factor out 1 over 2. So, x is finally going to be 1 over 2 into bracket 1 minus y. Since any value of y will make the function defined, then we can say that y is such that y is the set of all real numbers. And this happens to be the range of the function. Let's take another example. How do we find the range of a function? f of x is equal to x squared plus 1. Let's replace f of x with y. So y is going to be x squared plus 1. And then let's make x the subject. To make x the subject, we need to transpose 1 to the left hand side. So we are going to have y minus 1 to be equal to x squared and because we want to do away with the exponent we need to introduce square roots so it's going to be the square root of y minus 1 is equal to the square root of x squared now the squared cancels the square root and then we have x is equal to the square root of y minus 1 now what values of y will make the function defined? To find those values, we need to set what's inside the squared root to less than 0. So we have y minus 1 is less than 0. Now we are going to transpose negative 1 to the right hand side so that we have y is less than 1. So the range is going to be y is such that y is the set of all real numbers except y is less than 1 which means that if we put any value less than 1 in place of y in this equation we are going to get the function to be undefined let's try this one given a function f of x is equal to 5x divided by 2 minus x how do we solve for the range as usual we are going to represent f of x with y and then make x the subject so y is going to be 5x divided by 2 minus x now we are going to cross multiply so we are going to have y into bracket 2 minus x to be equal to 5x y times 2 is 2y and then y times x is xy which is equal to 5x because we are interested in x, or because we want to make x stand alone, we are going to transpose negative xy to the right hand side. 
so it's going to be 2y is equal to 5x plus xy now making x the subject we are going to factorize so it's going to be 2y is equal to x into bracket 5 plus y and then we divide both sides of the equation by 5 plus y so x is going to be 2y over 5 plus y for this function to be defined y must not be equal to negative 5 hence the denominator will go to 0 making the function undefined so the range for this particular function is y is such that y is the set of all real numbers except y is equal to negative 5 what is the range of the function h of x is equal to x minus 1 divided by 3 into brackets 2 plus x straight away we need to represent h of x with y so we are going to have y is equal to x minus 1 divided by 3 into bracket 2 plus x now we are going to cross multiply so we are going to have 3y into bracket 2 plus x to be equal to x minus 1 3y times 2 is 6y and then 3y times x is 3xy and then it's equal to x minus 1 because we are interested in x, we would like to group x on one side. So we are going to transpose x to the left hand side and then 6y to the right hand side. So it's going to be 3xy minus x is equal to negative 1 minus 6y. So we are going to factor out x. So it's going to be x on the outside and then we have 3y minus 1 inside the brackets to be equal to negative 1 minus 6y we are going to divide both sides of the equation by 3y minus 1 and then we have x to be equal to negative 1 negative 6y divided by 3y minus 1 now to find the range we need to equate the denominator to 0 so it's going to be 3y minus 1 is equal to 0 and then we are going to transpose negative 1 to the right hand side so we have 3y is equal to 1 we divide both sides of the equation by 3 and then we have y to be equal to 1 over 3 what this primarily means is that if we insert y to be equal to 1 over 3 into the equation it's going to make the denominator go to 0 so that the whole function becomes undefined so the range for the function is going to be y is such that y is the set of all real numbers except y is equal to 1 over 3 so that's it for today's video if you like the content of this video feel free to like comment and share among friends don't forget to subscribe to receive more interesting videos hope to see you in my next video bye bye